I need to prepare each one of you. Uh, there's a content warning, okay? This is going to be so fucking cringe. We're doing Dapperton, Mr. Mr. Dapperton. And he got mad at me for saying that his rant Sona was cringy. Like, he got genuinely mad at me on Twitter. He's like, fuck you, man. I can't believe you just fucking say that about me, dude. It's pretty cringe, though. So anyway, he put out a video called Ultimate Pro-Gun Video featuring pro-gun celebrities, which is just fucking sad. Uh, this was a premiere that I caught because you put it in my Discord, and, I mean, literally, he was the most chatting chatter uh, himself. He chatted the most. And I can't read this username... And this username is called World War II Trophy Luger. Quality Dapperton content. Nice. Okay, so I uh, I can only assume this will be the best pro-gun pro video of all time. It's going to be good. Look at that flat screen, bro. Nice. Look at that shit at Walmart. Hell yeah. Hey. Dude, look at these living in paradise too. Jeez. What a set. Hello, boys, girls, and those who sexually identify as a used fleshlight. I'm... Uh, your vibes are rancid. Mr. Dapperton. And today, we're not looking at actors who are anti-gun. Today, we're checking out actors that are pro-gun. Oh, uh, before this, I skipped it because fuck it, but he he played a clip. The video started with a, like, what, three minutes? Almost a three-minute uninterrupted clip of Boston Lingle, maybe? It was William Shatner uh, saying vaguely racist shit to this uh, guy and then shooting him. Yeah, there's actually some pro-gun actors out there. Let's find out who they are. Let's start off this fine-ass video with a little Bruce Willis. Whoa. What is this, a pirate gun? Is this Old actually school, the video? Man. Like you, right? Right. Get down! Down, down, down! Down, down, down! He was in the Die Hard movies. This is Die Harder with a Vengeance, I believe. Uh, maybe Die Forder. Fourth Die Hard time, which is, of course, the name. Die Hard Movies. Die. A good day to die hard. That's this one. He's shooting guns and makes a pro gun. He might also just be pro gun. That's fine. Gun See, he, uh, he, likes, he likes guns. Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot of lefties like guns. You could have, you could have, a, you could have a, a gun or two, you know? Like the assault weapons okay, let me interject real quick. I'll make it snappy. 1997 was in the middle of the assault weapons ban where we banned anything above a 10 round magazine capacity. Mm -hmm. We and, and mass shootings dropped off a cliff, by the way. It was, it was good. Banned AR 15s, AK 47s. Since we brought back those things, since we got rid of that bill and brought back AK 47s, AR 15s, and 30 round magazines, the crime rate dropped 51%. It's actually not true. It Wait, maybe the, maybe the total crime rate over the course of those years. Crime has been dropping in general. Uh, mass shootings have risen. The ones that these guns cause, you know, dropped 50. His ransom is smoking a cigar. Yeah. He one percent. These weapons save lives. They don't take them away. Now, no one is. What, give me the the AK-47 life save uh, data. <laughs> Do your thing, Brucey. No, I think that you can't start to pick apart any of uh, anything out of the Bill of Rights without thinking that it's all going to become undone. If you, if you take one out or change one law, then why wouldn't they take all your rights away from you? So it's a difficult thing, and I really feel, feel uh, bad for those families. I, I'm a father, and uh, it's, it's just a tragedy. He, he animated, like, clicking the remote. But I don't know how you legislate uh, insanity. I don't know what you do about it. I don't even know how you begin to to stop that. Uh, a Good Day to Die Hard came out in uh, Die Hard with Avengers Live Free or Die Hard Good Day 2013. So, what was that, Sandy Hook? Was that, was that Sandy Hook? Sounds like it might be. 
please no steppy no one's gonna step here okay everyone hey mr dapperton was very upset at me last time we talked please no steppy chat no chatter of mine shall steppy okay I guess you've done this before. No encouraging. Why are, why are we playing these clips now? Okay. Come and get him! Alright. Really, uh... We're actually... We're, we're gonna... The real life topic really, uh... How does he smoke the cigar? Well, he pushes his lips up to the grate. And then sucks on it. Is diminished by suggesting that anything in Hollywood caused the uh, circumstances that just happened recently and happen anytime somebody goes a little off the rails or a lot off the rails. That is a totally different story. We're not making movies about people that have gone berserk. Hmm. That's definitely been a thing. No steppy on him, but Dapper gets to step on you. That's right. With his guns. Or guns. Mauled hard with a cringence? <laughs> oh, no. Those kind of movies wouldn't wouldn't last very long at all. I've answered. So this. is he is he sitting here? I didn't realize this this video was gonna be him playing clips of other people and not saying anything. Huh. It's my it's now my job. I have to carry a, a larger load here now, Mr. Dapperton, uh, because you're just you're just essentially up, uh, wholesale uploading just clips of other people talking, you know. And so now I have to. I have to make sure that I'm not in violation of copyright because you probably are. Question from time to time, but I don't think the one thing has to do with anything. Yeah, Bruce Willis right now does have a rare form of dementia. With the other. No one commits a crime because they saw a film. There's, there's nothing to support that. Iconic American hip-hop artist Ice-T was here in the studio. The self-styled Go god... Ice-T, dude. Producer of Black White. Here's a clip of Bruce Willis almost falling asleep. As you can see, this proves my point. He that was a very pro gun Bruce Willis. That's maybe the most mouth frothing pro gun stance I've ever seen. Is a guy uh, dancing around a Second Amendment question uh, during a presser for uh, a good day to die hard. Is Ice Cube? Oh, I'm sorry. This one's Ice T. Very different. Ice T is actually the guy who does NCIS or something. My bad. They're both on my hoodie, so as you can see, I get them confused. Oh, yeah. I just had to think about their their voices and faces. But Ice Cube is who I associate. I because, think I suffer from whiteness. Uh, no matter if it's wrong or right, it was black or white. Uh, Quebeca, thank you for suffering from whiteness with me father of gangster rap had come to talk about a new documentary he's made about the art of rapping which will be running on tomorrow night's program but while he was here and news about the denver shooting was coming in i briefly took the opportunity to ask him about his own attitude towards guns and i asked him why he's such a defender of the right to bear arms well i give up my gun when everybody else does and is that Doesn't your... that make sense? Well, <laughs> doesn't that make sense? I mean, if you were to, if, if there were guns here, would you be want to be the only person without one? And he's right. What the government wants to do is make it so everybody has guns, except you, the law-abiding citizen. Uh, that is not what the government wants. It's interesting. He's so silly. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. I mean, if if you, that's if I mean. You can have guns if you want them. You can, you can have a gun. My problem has always been the types of guns people want and the ways, like, we could just we could just also, like, monitor that situation, you know? If you, if you want to have certain types of guns, then cool, but you have to, like, get licenses for those types of guns, and then it's, it's written down, okay, this fucking guy has this types of gun. I think you should have to go through a few more hoops to get a fucking machine gun than, like, you know, you can get a revolver or something. I don't care. Shotgun. Bolt action. We've talked about this before. This is my gun. My my gun control policy is simply just to do reasonable gun law. That's it. You should have to, you should have to be able to pass a simple test to get a gun. And then, you know, beyond that, they get more specialized. His dork trying to be cool. Yeah, he sucks. You won't be able to get guns because they're highly restricted. 
But could the criminals still get guns? Hell yes, because they're- No, man. Wait, what? Wait, why are you worried about the criminals getting guns? There's no, like, marauding gangs around, you know? It's just not a thing. The closest are the police, and they have the monopoly on violence. And then when we say we shouldn't let the government be the ones with all the violence, we should limit the amount of guns they have, like, I'm actually fine with the exact opposite. You know what I mean? The police shouldn't be allowed to have guns unless there's a situation where you absolutely need one, right? Like, if, you, if you're responding to an active shooter or whatever, but there's, like, very rarely... Is that going to happen in a scenario where we're running a country that makes sense? But it's whatever. You have to do so many systemic things to, to like, address this problem, right? Like, what's the number one reason for gun violence? And the answer is poverty and the pursuit of not being in poverty through usually crime. Do you think liability insurance and firearms? Yeah, I think in, liability insurance would be amazing. Like, why do, why do we have to get liability insurance for our cars but not a fucking gun? Yeah, absolutely. There's 500 million guns on the market <clears throat> in the black market now because you made them illegal. And the Where's people the black market, man? They don't have to be illegal. They can simply, like, he's so stupid. They can simply be doled out responsibly. If you want to have some kind of crazy killing capacity weapon, then you have to be able to handle that responsibility and have the proper licensing for it. Yeah. But I don't think you should you should have to go through that many hoops for uh, something simple besides a simple psych eval and then, like, obviously you need to be of age. Like, liability insurance would be good. You should be able – you should have to have, like, a permit to be able to hold weapons. It seems simple, not hard. Well, they had them legally, sold them to the black market. So now the black market's flooded with cheap guns for criminals to buy. So criminals will be locked and loaded everywhere. And, and will the government still have guns? Yes. So who will have guns? Everybody except for you. That's what gun control does. So, you, so, so do you carry guns Not routinely any. at home? I mean, you have, gun, you have a gun at home? Yeah, it's legal in the United States. It's part of our constitution. You know, the right to bear arms is because that's the last form of defense against tyranny. Not to hunt, but hunt. It's to protect yourself from the police. And do you see any link between that and these sorts of incidents? No. Nah, not really. You know what I'm saying? If somebody wants to kill people, you know, they don't need a gun to do it. Makes it easier, though, doesn't it? Not really. You can Disagree. Definitely makes it easier. Shut up. Can we, like, why can't they ever be, why can't they ever be honest about it? It's like, yeah, it's really easy to kill someone with a gun. It shoots metal through their body. It's pretty hard to survive shooting metal through your body too many times, right? Especially depending on where it's at. Much easier to survive getting metal driven into your body and pulled out. You know? Much easier to survive other forms of, of, of killing people. Like, you just don't have to be a liar about it. You'd be like, yeah, it is easy to kill people with guns. That's the point of it, right? That's what guns are for. I don't know why a proactive approach to guns is like, it makes these people freak out. Use a, you can strap explosives How long is this on your body. Thing? They do that all the time. In Nice, France, 86 people were slaughtered by a truck. By one incident with one truck. Yes, that's more people murdered by truck than ever killed and in one single incident with a gun. That's actually not true. What? There was, there's, there's absolutely been more fucking, more fucking deaths by gun at a single event. Maybe in France, yeah. Maybe in France. <laughs> we have had, we had have more, we've had more deaths. You think mass shootings are bad? Well, a maniac behind a truck is even worse. It's really not. Uh, it's because your gun is going to be able to go up against the heavily militarized cops. I hate the, my gun is to stop tyranny. Like, babes, you can only legally get guns that can do shit against the cops. Military. Like, I wish the cops were demilitarized. Then you would have a point. Defund the police and you can have community defense. I'm fine with that. I've always, I've always been, you know, pretty pro-gun in general, I think. Like, you don't need to have these fucking crazy weapons. Certainly not normally. You can... If you choose, like if you're an enthusiast, 
I don't see a problem with having recreational access to some of these guns. I don't see a problem with having um, some types of ownership, uh, depending on the licensing or whatever. But, like, just some fucking normal guy. Like, when I was a kid growing up, we had, we had illegal guns around. Just fucking, because I was in the country and people were people had them. You need a license to drive a truck. Yeah, we said that. Purple Nickel, 33 months. Thank you. Very stupid. So when there's the inevitable backlash uh -huh. of the anti-gun lobby as a result of this incident, as it always is. Well, that's not going to change anything it's in the United States. No. The United States is based on guns. You know, like KRS says, you'll never have justice on stolen land. So it's not going to change. Both in your acting career <laughs> and uh, I guess in your work as a police officer. Even with that, though, like it was an anti-cop rhetoric from Ice-T here. But in general, the argument is stupid. You had to do to deal with lots of guns and you. What's this? Did I throw a little Steven Seagal in here? Yes, I did. And allow him to speak truth onto you. You do see. This is so fucking cringe on RT. Dude, Steven Seagal is a joke. Steven Seagal is objectively not cool. He's, he is, have you seen a more cringe duo right here? To have a liking of uh, sophisticated weaponry, you are here in Russia to uh, promote a sniper rifle that will bear, as far as I understand, your own name. What attracts you in guns? Is it engineering? Is it the sense of power? This guy LARPs as a badass. It's his whole thing. Something else, maybe. I mean, I... He's a literal fascist. He ran off to join Russia. Yeah, Steven Seagal is fucking crazy. He, he produces movies so that he can make out with, like, Asian women, essentially. Have you seen some of his movies? Every single one of his movies is exactly the same. Go. He's a guy. He needs to go do a violent job. There's an Asian lady that he wants to fuck. He fucks her. Then he goes to violence. Then he fucks the Asian lady. Then he does violence. And then the, the, the movie is over. He's, he fucking sucks. I believe in, um, you know, the sport, the Olympics. Yeah. Him thinking Steven Seagal is actually cool is the least surprising thing. Uh, shooting and Olympics, long range shooting, uh, all these things. But I also believe that every country has the right to defend their own country. Every man has the right to defend his own wife and children and home. Time's waste. Thanks, Mom. And cool. I also believe that right should triumph over evil. <laughs> Should triumph over evil. Uh, the same people who claim that celebrities should never be listened to are the folks who make compilations like this of washed up D-list actors mumbling right wing talking points. Yep. And so I don't have anything against guns because guns in and of themselves don't kill people. People kill Go. people. So gun is just like a plant or a, a tool, you know, and you can, you can either do good with it which is to protect and nurture humanity and mankind or destroy and i was eating a carrot i'm here to nurture and protect people he so wanted to say kills people humanity and mankind or destroy and I'm here to nurture and protect people. Now, I think your own country, the United States, has a very complicated relationship with guns because on one hand, it's almost perceived as a symbol of freedom protected by the yeah, Second Amendment, but on the other yeah. hand, it also created a um, specifically American form of violence, mass violence, mass shootings in schools and universities. So I wonder, where do you stand on the issue of gun control in the United States? Well, first of all, I believe in, in the Second Amendment and the Constitution more than anything in the world and i think that more than anything in the world that's what i believe in hmm. adolf hitler for example when he wanted to annihilate the people of germany the first thing he did was take away their guns and why is that always a talking point that's not actually the first thing they did <laughs> uh that was like step fucking 300 <laughs> Uh, they did lots of stuff before that. This is crazy. The, 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 the rights to bear arms... People had armed resistance against the Nazis throughout the entire run of the Nazis. It's how they lost. 
wasn't just to protect the people from foreign invaders, it was to protect them against evil governments and anyone that would violate their inherent rights as a human being. So I believe in the Second Amendment and I believe that, I hate to say this, a lot of these mass murders and all this funny stuff that's going on, I believe a lot of this is engineered. And yet in... <laughs> I believe a lot of this is engineered. <laughs> great. Yeah. So great. So this is why he had to run off to Russia. No one likes him. In the aftermath of the, I think it was Newtown shooting, you were engaged in a Connecticut program, I think, to teach uh, children in self-defense. Do you think those skills would be helpful if they were faced with somebody who was armed to the well, first of all, Hitler is very much in favor of guns in the hands of private citizens and don't fucking pretend that having a Glock you don't know how to use would have done shit for dick shit for dick to stop Hitler. Well, I wasn't Trump. teaching children to defend themselves. I was teaching what's called the posse, which are... Uh, Dude, he literally is just sitting here watching clips of these people. Sworn officers to come in and defend schools. Holy shit. All right, we got we to gotta start speeding it up. All right, well, we'll see what happens. We're speeding it up. Uh, if we get to two and it's boring me, uh, we're just ending it early. That's what happens. It's the rules. And so these are people that have had training with firearms. They have had police training. They're just not on my level, but they are, you know, sworn. <laughs> They're not on my level. <laughs> yeah, man. Dude, he thinks Steven Seagal's so cool. God damn it. He's so badass. Jesus. He's so badass. How is that badass? But you still thought that that, uh, that engagement was important and there, that there's something has to be done about so the gun situation cringe. within schools and the universities. The most precious gift we have from God is our children. Why can't we spend money and time to protect our schools and our children? They have armed guards at every bank, at every jewelry store. If you go around Champs-Élysées, you go around France and Monaco and Beverly Hills, there's all these armed guards everywhere protecting money and jewelry. Why can't we protect our children? I don't did you know that in France and Monaco and all those places, they don't actually have to guard their children? I don't know. That's a good question. Um, I have to ask you this. Uh, do you think Hollywood and, in particular, action movies are partially responsible for glorification of gun violence? I don't. Violence, I, don't. No? I think that, you know, the, the, the more important thing we need to look at here is mental health. Because there are... Men but don't socialize it, though. That would be communist. You can't socialize. You can't give ac broad access to mental health. No, 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 no. We're going to talk about mental health. Hey, what are you doing? Looking for something. You lurking? No. You almost said yes. <laughs> that implies a yes. Shut up. Mentally insane people in every country, and God knows we have our share in America. And I think this is the most important thing to learn there. Look at, I think statistically it's sort of proven that, you know, in Japan, for example, where they have the most violent movies on earth, and they have almost zero crime. Does Japan have the most violent movies on Earth? What does that tell you? It's not really the movies as much as it's mental health issues and how these people can get it. I don't know, dude. Who made... Is it Singapore? Who made The Raid? No, Indonesia. Now they have some violent movies. Indonesia has some violent movies, okay? Japan. Help. Okay, so he's going after the mentally ill, and I don't like that. The mentally ill only commit 3% of crime. Uh, mentally ill people aren't committing the crimes that you think they are. Uh -oh. uh, mentally ill are uh -oh. people like your sister, your mother, people in your family. The ADHD, bipolar disorder, that is the mentally ill. Asperger's is mentally ill. These people have the right to defend themselves like anybody else. They shouldn't lose constitutional rights just because they're sick. That is stupid. <laughs> ADHD, I'm sick now. <laughs> I'm sick because I got ADHD. Fuck yeah. Uh, this guy's nuts. Um, so, <laughs> he didn't even, some of those weren't even mental illnesses. Some of those were just uh, things people got going on. Uh, so, when we talk about mental illness, we're talking about like, you know, depression is a good one uh, to, to maybe consider not giving someone easy access to off themselves, like clinical depression. Um, you know, there's some people with anger issues and, uh, you know, Maybe maybe BPD maybe we consider that because sometimes people fall off the handle and do do some do some wacky shit. We could also just not go with. It's not all about mental health. It's also about behavior. Like is this person committing violence uh, often? That would be a good thing maybe to keep them away from the violence things. 
you know? Yeah, bipolar, maybe it would be worth considering uh, not allowing these people to have easy access to firearms unless they were, you know, I'm not saying in all situations, but I think it'd be worth being like, okay, well, let's go through a screening test and see if we can green light this, and that's fine, right? Some people just don't need access for their own good, for the well-being of others. Uh, and none of this is going to stop 100% of crime or anything, or shootings or whatever, but it's all just proactive mitigation. <sighs> I was talking to Sarah on the car earlier and about just like, man, I just wish this we we could do a little proactivity in this in this society, just a little bit, as a treat, you know? What you want to go after is people that are mentally unstable, people that have a history of violence. These people should lose rights. Now, it's true that people that have mental illness are 2 to 3% more likely to commit crime. But you have to understand that you shouldn't discriminate against them. Because look at it this way. Uh, wouldn't it be bad if people discriminated against black people who are 5.5 times more likely to commit crime? Oh, my fucking God, dude. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, if we ban people who beat their spouse, most of our police will be unarmed. Uh-oh. Uh, police. Police. Uh, accountability would be huge. Five times more likely to commit crime. Not a couple percent. No, five times more likely. Um, five times more likely to be arrested and charged with a crime by the police is not the same thing as five times more likely to commit a crime. We could talk about that. I would love to talk about this with you, Mr. Dapperton. Of course, your very cool rant sona that isn't cringe. I like it a lot. It's looking good. This is a cool video. I am, however, going to speed you up to 1.5. That's just my thing. No, that's, you know, don't worry about why I did that. So if you're saying we should discriminate against the mentally ill, you're also saying, hey, we should discriminate against blacks. Uh, that's not Jeez. fair. Neither is fair. Don't do either. But yeah, if somebody has a history of violence, take away their gun rights by all means. But don't go discriminating against every person with a mental illness. Okay, so it's not discriminating against anyone with mental illness. It's easily solvable with just a hands-on uh, thing. But... thinking that they're going to kill people when they're not. Even schizophrenics, not even 1% of them are killers. Schizophrenics. Not even 1%. So why should 100% lose gun rights? Also, there's like six types of schizophrenics. Most of them don't even hear voices or have hallucinations. Some of them are like disorganized schizophrenics, where it's just extreme ADHD. Why should those people lose gun rights? Just because of a little disorganization, they should lose gun rights? That's silly. The fact is, most schizophrenics are harmless. <coughs> 19.7% of substance abusers have committed a violent act in the last year, making that demographic nearly three times more dangerous than the mentally ill. Okay, sure, man. Um, so, this that's a healthcare problem. <laughs> we have healthcare issues. Would you like to dis discuss systemic healthcare issues? No? In fact, people that are on drugs are more dangerous than even the most severely mentally ill. By three times. Yeah, I mean, those are going to be people like, uh, you know, oxy, fentanyl, stuff like that, uh, meth, things that they, they you know, chemical dependencies that make them act in ways that are like, they forces desperation. Most substance abusers are mentally ill. Yeah, but a lot of them self-medicate because we don't have access to actual fucking health care. It's also parenting. You know, if you have parents who love the children, spend time with their children, teach their children right from wrong, and they have real parenting, you won't see any of this. And yet, if you look at the um, pure data, statistics of violence in the United States, and the access that kids have to uh, guns, the uh, amount of time they spent with their parents, it, it doesn't look pretty well. Oh, woman, please. I guarantee you haven't even looked at the evidence. I guarantee you're like every other left-winger who thinks there's 91 deaths by gun violence a day, thinking that means murder. No, they, they use that word, deaths by gun violence, to fool you. It doesn't mean murder. Most of that's suicide. Like, the vast majority of that's suicide. So... <clears throat> Uh, so she works for RT, n likely not a left winger. Second, are lots of suicides good? This is what we're talking about. Not that we shouldn't tell the mentally ill people not to have any fucking guns. Most of the gun violence is suicides anyway. Can you hear yourself? Do you like it when people just fucking kill themselves? <sighs> yeah, man, that's a bad thing. I want people to get health care and have good quality of life. <laughs> We're worried about all the deaths, not just murder. Right? You cut out the suicide, and there's only 32 gun homicides a day in America. Only 32 a day? 
That's almost one per state, man, a day. Every day. That's a 32 in 350 million chance every day. It's more than one per hour. That sure is. Every day. <laughs> That's almost one and a half per hour. And that includes self-defense killings. So even less. Self-defense killings. What do you mean even less? Self-defense. That's a person being violent. Self-defense means that there was a bad guy. That's not even less. Those count. We don't want people to be violent and to have to be murdered in self-defense. Are you serious? How can you just delete that? That's not a... <laughs> and the likelihood that those people that were in self-defense were threatened themselves with a gun is high. Isn't that over 10,000 a year? Uh, whatever 32 times 365 is. Let's go to the calculator. All right. 32 times 365 equals 11,680. Wow. That's not good at all. Divided by 50. So that's just the states. 233 per state a year. Amazing. That's just not that many people at all. The jaculator. Oh, man. I can do math. Holy shit. So anyway, those deaths are bad, and we should societally try to stop them from happening because they're not good. So we essentially lose the population of a small town per year. That is larger, I think, than the population of my town when I graduated high school. I do not think that's the case now. I think it doubled. Less than 32... The ejaculator? Hey. Gun homicides a day in America Relax. is freaking microscopic in a society that has 320 million people. That's microscopic. The gun debate it's, is... It's really not microscopic. That's so many people. How are you like this? That's so many... That's 11,000 people a year. How is that microscopic? They're whole ass people. Overblown. But Mr. Dabberton, CNN told me there was 500 million school shootings just this morning. Yeah, they include BB shootings as mass shootings. They they include uh, accidental discharges on campus or just in the general area as mass shootings, even if there's... They actually don't. He literally just doesn't care. I mean, of course not. He's stupid as fuck. Over 40,000 people died from gun violence last year in this country. Yeah, but he, he says, but most of them are suicides. 1,500 of them were kids, man. Half of them were actually suicide. So 20,000. Majority of these deaths have occurred in Texas, California, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, Illinois, and Louisiana. Red state, blue state, red state, red state, red state, red state, red state. And let's be real with California. I mean, it's got a lot of red in it. <laughs> no death or no injury and uh, this is what they include as a school shooting sometimes uh, somebody commits suicide on a street that runs through a school that's a mass shooting according to them it isn't bro that's just not how people are talking about this i'm uh, we we are not interested in uh someone fucking being tangentially related to a school shooting. I'm worried about actual kids getting shot. I'm not upset about a BB gun incident. No one's talking about that. The actual discussions are not about BBs. Okay? The actual discussions are about fucking kids at Uvalde getting cut down by a fucking AR-15 when they don't have to. They should be learning stuff. Just living life. How can we not just agree kids dying is bad? It's minuscule. It's just a microscopic... And most of these mass shootings and school shootings, no one even dies. It's kind of funny to a left winger. There is no failed mass shooting. There, there isn't. That, that doesn't exist to them. Because if you, if you try to kill somebody and you just injure a couple people and then you die because a law abiding citizen killed you. Well, guess what? That's still a mass shooting. Is that good? What's the positive out of that? Like, is it, I don't want kids to experience getting shot and surviving and then their shooter being murdered. You know? I don't want them to experience any of that. Is that fine? Like, how how are you like this? Who hurt you? You get dropped on the fucking head? 
even if the person was killed before the mass shooting even started and there was no deaths. Yeah, that's still a mass shooting. Let's say four guys break into your home and you shoot. All Let's say four guys break into your home. Go. <sighs> Clearly being shot has only two results, either death or being perfectly fine. Thanks for letting me know. Yep. All four of them. That's a mass shooting, according to these statistics, because more than four got injured. That, yes, they even include self-defense killings. It's freaking ridiculous. Four hunky guys getting shot in my, in my, in my bedroom. Mm. But Dabberton, they're technically mass shootings because that's the way they're defined. That Tim and it's redeemed say something nice. Oh, God. No. Uh... You know what? I respect Mr. Dapperton really took a lot of time. You see this? Uh, look down here. It There's uh, there's lights. This PNG of lights. He has it here and here. Huh? That's pretty hard to do. And he has this PNG of this Walmart TV. This Vizio. It's not like a perfect cutout or anything. You can see some, some problems with it, but that's fine. And But it seamlessly blends in with his... I think homemade, I think this is a desk here that he made himself out of green wood. And then this background, it's essentially like, look at this. It's, have you seen Citizen Kane? Look, Citizen Kane, foreground, midground, background. I mean, we're talking about, we're talking about some of the greatest shots in all time. <laughs> talking about Rosebud, dude. What you guys know about Rosebud? This guy is a filmmaker. Look at this shot. This is the shot right here. You Citizen Kane heads. What a crazy... Wow, there's something happening in the background. In the, in the mid-ground and the foreground. Whoa, Citizen Kane. Look at him go. It's essentially the Orson Welles of our time. That may be the way they're defined, and you may technically be right. They're mass shootings because you made a freaking BB shooting a mass shooting. You made uh, some. I'd like to report an Australian gun owner and American gun culture scares the shit out of me. There's so much wrong. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's interesting. As an American, I have this like, I feel very fortunate to live here because we don't have as many problems as a lot of places have. And then I feel pretty bad that I live here because there's like, we're, we're also complicit in a lot of the fucking problems. And sometimes we have problems unique to our fucking culture and it sucks. So it's like, it's like this weird, it's this weird thing. I don't know how other Americans feel, but it's like, it's like, I'm not proud to be from here, but I wish I could be cause it is dope. There's lots of dope shit here. We have a lot going for us. It's a cool place. We could be pretty dope, but we're not. Uh, we, we're just fumbling the fucking bag, man. Fumbling the bag. We could be a shining beacon of an example of what a country could be, right? We genuinely have the resources to pull this shit off. We could actually be, like, the best. With very little effort, we already have done the hard part, right? I'm disappointed by our inability to live up to our potential? Yeah, I mean, it's... it's, it's we're... <clears throat> Somebody committed suicide, a mass shooting. You made uh, an accidental discharge, a mass shooting. Yeah, you made everything a mass shooting. So, yeah, it may technically be a mass shooting because that's the way you defined it. But it, it's not as bad as people actually dying by a real mass shooter. So okay. So, four people dying from a dumbass accidentally shooting his gun into a crowd isn't better than a psycho killing four people in a crowd, actually. It's not better. It's just bad and tragic and preventable. I feel guilty because a lot of the terrible shit in other countries is specifically our fault for our comfort and to further capitalism, but I feel like leaving would be a neocolonialism. Ooh, that's an interesting take. I've thought about that too. Neocolonialism. I've thought about, uh, okay, well, if you do leave, where do you even fucking go? Like, Tijuana or something? Like, wh where am I fucking going? All of it feels like... All of it feels like it's just complicit in the problem. So we're not going to pretend for a second that it is. By saying a BB shooting or an accidental discharge or, oh or God, a plant... Dude. I'm going to the next or clip. Rather next clip. I'm skipping Seagal. All right, All right let's get here. <laughs> sure. Sure, sure, That's sure, sure. Who went because it wasn't filmed. This is freaking Kurt Russell. One of the baddest ass people to ever exist.
everything else. It's a different vibe, you know. There's, I mean, I don't. Yeah, I don't understand the concepts of conversation of the gun culture. We, we, we've lived with guns since what the seventh century or something. Well, I don't know. We all know that right now. Guns is a trope. It's a. Uh, I mean, it's not a trope. It's a, it's a totem. It's a metaphor that um, disenfranchised white guys need. It makes them feel good because they're being. You can say what you want. I don't agree with that. So it's not my thing. But it's so, specifically, you know. well, I, you can look, if you think that if you think gun control or something like that is going to change a terrorist point of cool. view, I think you're like out of your mind. I think you're like I think anybody is. I think I think it's absolutely insane. The problem the problem the problem we're having right now is, is that we don't have the concepts of how to um, turn it around and say you know I you you may think you've got me worried about what you're going to do, dude. You're about to find out what I'm going to do. What a badass. Uh, us defining mass shootings. Uh, as if this chud has the ability to self-assess and not fetishize his ignorance so long as it helps. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't know anything. And that's going to worry you a lot more. And that's what we need. That will change the concept of gun culture, as you call it, to something of reality, which is, uh, if I'm a hockey team, and i got a guy bearing down on me as a goaltender, right. I'm not concerned about what he's going to do. I'm going to make him concerned about what I'm going to do. I guess so Obama's point know. was that the guys who are on the no-fly list, no-fly list because of terrorist mm -hmm. connections, can get a gun pretty easily. So, I mean, he's just talking about, like... The '80s mindset of every if everybody has nukes, no one will use them. They can also make a bomb pretty easily. Yeah. So what? They can also get knives and stab you. What are you gonna do about that? They can get cars and run you over with them. What are you gonna do about that? What are you well, gonna do about that? They didn't kill the people in San Bernardino. Oh, but they've killed others that way, haven't they? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So what are you gonna do? Outlaw everything? That ain't the answer. Just put some controls. Just put some controls. What? So the people, so the, so the people who want to defend themselves can't? No, not so you can't. Just so the idiots can't get hold of them. That's do all. you really believe they're not going to? Are you are you serious about that? Yeah, are you seriously? Are. What good will that? Go? Oh my God! You and I just disagree. Okay. You and I just disagree. I I, I, I I understand that you think that you can control the behavior of people that are dead set on taking um, your way of life away from you. I think. Like it's uh, taking your way of life away from you. It's crazy. That like the Bush era, like t like propaganda on that has taken hold. No one wa is trying to take your way of life from you, right? Go. The reason people use guns in crimes is because they are able to get them, and they're effective weapons. Uh, he just proved the insecurity guy argument. Uh, you think you're gonna fuck me up? No, I'm gonna fuck you. Up. Yeah, cool. Of course. Of course. Why not? Yeah, why not address the reason that they have those, right? And it's because of the wealth disparity. A lot of it is. So it, if you solved just one aspect of people's uh, wealth inequality, rent control, right? If you just if you just immediately banned rent and everybody who was renting didn't have to pay rent this month, uh, I guarantee you would see crime rates fall. It would just it would relieve so much pressure on everybody. Just to be able to be housed without without threat of violence or whatever, uh, and then you could move on to other shit. Yeah, it really is macho guy shit. Think you think you can control that? No. I'm and there's uh, only one thing you can do with that, and yeah. say, no, dude, that's not gonna happen. That's just not Very gonna happen. Good talking with you. <laughs> Good luck with you. Hi, I'm Chuck Norris, a black belt patriot. If some thug breaks into my home, I can use my roundhouse kick. But I prefer he look down the barrel of my gun. And millions of other law-abiding families also rely on their Second Amendment rights. Dude, th is Kevin Sorbo going to be on here? To keep and bear arms. Some politicians say they support your rights, but unfortunately, their voting records say otherwise. Protect your rights on Election Day. Check the candidates' records and see who stood up for your families and who protected the criminals. I'm Chuck Norris, and I approve this message. Just let them try and outlaw those guns. Just let them try. Second Amendment, uh, gun control. You've been on the uh, NRA's board since 95. Mm -hmm. and Ted Nugent, it's bro? Wrong. So this guy uh, had sex with teenagers when... In, during his career, not not a good for, not a good person. Why is this just, this just a clip show? He's run out of things to say. This is a subject that you maybe feel more strongly about than any other. I believe that a person, case. I believe that a person's uh, moral compass can be determined by how he references free men, the right to defend themselves. The Second Amendment is so obvious to me; it's it's insane that there's an argument. It's it's crazy that like. Like I think I personally have a better take on on guns than these guys, of course. Uh, and I think it's more free. And I think it, but they when you talk to them about defund, like they talk about this tyranny, and then when you say, okay, well, I agree, the 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 government doesn't need to have the violence uh, distributed to the people like they do. We should stop having violence uh, be the central like focus of the police. Uh, we should defund the police and stop having have them like shoot guns at our fucking people. 
and they lose their minds. They're like, no, we actually need that tyranny. That's good tyranny. Doesn't make any sense. Low five bluebird. Thanks for God, let's, let's pretend there is no document. Let's pretend brave families didn't leave the tyrants and the slave drivers of Europe so that they could practice the religion of their choice. So they could speak. The slave drivers of Europe. Teddy. Teddy. They became slave drivers. Speak out without being murdered. That they could produce wool without the king's men coming and taking it from them every season of harvest. Let's pretend none of that happened. Let's just pretend this guy named Ted Nugent parachuted onto earth and woke up one morning and saw all these wonderful resources and had dreams of excellence and being the best that I could be. I don't need a document. And I don't need another man to explain to me that I have the right to defend my gift of life. And that there is an argument in America from Hillary Clinton, from Barbara Boxer, Diane Pines, from a whole gaggle of numbnuts who a gaggle would try to tell me they will dictate where, how, and if I can defend myself. I find that preposterous. I find it acceptable and I will not accept it. I am a free man. Don't tread on me. A good law abiding <laughs> citizen, not convicted of a felon. The Second Amendment of our Bill of Rights is my consent. Not convicted of a felony. Well, just because no one came forward to say that you were a statutory rapist doesn't mean you didn't do that. Is that a felony to statutory rape people? Actually, is it statutory when you're in well, your I think it's just regular, just regular rape, right? Uh, a whole eight cumps. Oh, shit. The Gadsden flag. That's right. There's actually a guy with a Gadsden flag uh, outside a uh, small town near me. It's on the side of his little yellow barn. Sealed weapons permit. Period. That's it. That's it. So no limitations of any kind that you no. don't see? None. That's it. The limitation should be, instead of arresting people for molesting children 24 times, I would rather the dad walked into the room, found a person molesting that child, and blew his brains out. Projecting. It's, it's crazy how much they project on this. Like, he literally has done that. Bro married a child. I would rather that the lady in Massachusetts last month who was taking her daughter to soccer, uh, who was carjacked by a recidivistic maggot who'd been in the prison system all his life but was let out again because we feel sorry for him. Maybe he had a bad childhood. Instead of her being hijacked and murdered, I'd rather she just shot the bastard dead. But in Massachusetts, somebody decided she can't do that. So she's dead. I would rather she was alive and the carjacker was dead. I'm weird. <laughs> I, would, I would rather that the guy who beat this lady to within an inch of her life in Waco, on parole was he, phenomenal and beat her to within an inch of life in front of her grandchildren with a whiskey bottle. I would rather she fell to the ground, pulled out a 38, and shot him six times in the chest and killed him. Am I weird? Because the guy is going to get out again. Hear me out. What if we cut this off at the pass and we had a conversation about men's behavior towards women? We can also talk to these guys about their behavior towards women. And when they go to the prison systems, we can work on their mental health, which is obviously a problem, right? Uh, we can, can keep this recidivism from happening by making sure that felons have opportunities to still have a life once they get out of prison, right? Because recidivism is often because they get pariahed uh, or they you know, aren't able to find jobs. They can't get employment, certainly not gainful employment. And they fall back into the same shit because, well, that's how the system works. But instead, uh, the prison system just puts puts them to work. It's just slave labor. Did you know that? I don't like repeat offenders. I like dead offenders. Do you suck dicks? Sir, no, sir! I don't like repeat offenders. I like dead offenders. Well, I guess Ted should be fucking uh, dead, right? Isn't that what we have to do? We're just doing we're just doing this. This guy's dead, by the way. This guy actually is dead. Uh, there would be less crime. I really do. I mean, if, if I'm a robber and I think that you might have a gun, I'm I'm gonna think twice about coming up and approaching you in a dark alley or on the a street. A robber? Or Why are they worried about robbers? Okay, most people that commit violent crime are men toward their like spouse or significant other or children. It's the it's men. For the record, the number one c committer of crimes is men. By a long shot. Way over half. You want to talk about who does the most crime? Men. By a, a, a vastly pro, uh, non-proportional. Uh, it's just out of whack. Uh, I think this is done. Uh, Dapperton is just doing a clip show. We got to disagree with Dapperton enough. Um, <laughs> men, men are a problem. Uh, we could talk about how to fix men, but every time we talk about that, they're like, no. Uh, we just well, I want to shoot them. <sighs> we can't just shoot everybody. We can't just shoot everybody. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be like this at all. I would love to talk to Mr. Dapperton though, and his really cool rant sona. It's super cool, and not cringe.
I think it's dope, bro. I really wanna I really wanna talk to him. Maybe he'll maybe he'll come by. 